to DeFi, DGen, Strip, and Farm for Poverty, where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. Please subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up. Hey guys, welcome back. DeFi, DGen, Strip, and Farm for Poverty. So, yes, this is a clickbait title, but it has substance as all my videos try to add to you guys. <laughs> so, um, there are no Instagram influencers that I'm aware of that are specifically marketing scratchy, but what is big news is the announcement that came out today regarding how NFTs will be utilized and adopted by Meta or more specifically by Instagram, what eventually would be WhatsApp and probably also Facebook. So um, if you're not familiar with Facebook and Instagram, you're living under a rock somewhere, uh, they currently make up about 4 billion users. Now, I can't say that these are independent, like saying whoever's on Facebook could also have an Instagram account, but either way, that's 4 billion eyeballs combined between these two. Um, and they also own um, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. So they cover a lot of uh, people is the point, right? But what's significant about that? Glad you asked. So literally today, Mark Zuckerberg shared the news on Instagram. So Instagram expands NFTs to over 100 countries. So way back in March or May, can't remember, they announced their goal to try to get, uh, or getting NFTs integrated onto Instagram. But now they're doing a much more aggressive push, rolling it out to creators across 100 countries. So um, this article right here says, fast forward to today, Instagram is now expanding its NFT feature to 100 more countries. Um, they're utilizing the uh, Flow Network and Polygon and something else coming up here shortly. Uh, 100 more countries across Africa, Asia, Pacific, Middle East, and the Americas will run on the Ethereum Polygon blockchains as well as Flow. And it will also support Rainbow Wallet, MetaMask, and Trust Wallet as well as third-party wallets from Coinbase and Dapper. So this is huge. And the reason I bring this up, because yes, it's not directly related to Scratchy, but the only way that any of these products in DeFi or in crypto in general actually make it and survive is by mass user adoption, mass market penetration. I put that in my previous videos about the product, yes, uh, curve, market product adoption. So clearly uh, social media platforms will drive consumer adoption like there's no discrediting that like the the data is in the numbers so we have seen um how many popular brands now go direct to influencer marketing versus the traditional buying ads on tv or on a radio or even movie previews these kinds of things it's now direct to consumer why because they can find an influencer on instagram that has one million followers and they can give that Instagram influencer uh, some money and some product perks and they get directly in front of the 1 million people that they want to target. Like if you sell, I don't know, uh, baby formula, for example, then you can go find an influencer who happens to have, you know, five kids and currently uh, doing, has twins that she just had and has got over a million views and talks all about baby care and mommyhood and all this. Clearly, anyone who follows that influencer <laughs> is going to be concerned with the same things that influencer is concerned with. And more than likely, if you sell baby formula, then you'll be able to get in front of that person's audience and get your product picked up and adopted a lot quicker than just a random ad on a TV or something like that. So wrapping all that up, uh, NFT adoption is going to come as the easiest and lowest barrier to entry to crypto. So undoubtedly, many of you that are in DeFi heard first about Bitcoin or heard about blockchain or heard about crypto. You heard this um, top level view of something different or new. Some people actually may have heard of NFTs first and then they went up the rabbit hole and then back down again. But either way, something has to spark your interest and the easiest thing to do and get into uh, in regards to um, crypto is digital ownership. That is a much easier pill to swallow than trying to convince people about uh, digital currency and all that stuff like that. Like, um, 
digital ownership is much easier because you're looking at things like baseball cards or uh, paintings or art and uh, Pokemon trading cards, <laughs> Magic the Gathering, like any of those things, they are collector items and they are worth something to the people who collect them. An NFT is the exact same thing. Uh, now they can have utility, but let's just focus on the art side because that's the easiest barrier to entry for most people to understand regarding uh, getting into NFTs. So if social media, specifically Instagram and Facebook, start to showcase this on their platform, that means more people are going to be more aware of crypto and the uh, supportive structures that are within it, and specifically NFTs. Now that could also mean that later down the line, an Instagram influencer who's in NFTs could hear about Scratchy and what better way to start promoting a product or project they want to sell than by slapping a lottery ticket on the back end of it. So instead of just buying this 8 of 100 Sparkle NFT, uh, when you buy it, it also acts as a uh, kind of a tie to a lottery ticket. <laughs> that means these people can make a lot more money and sell a lot more NFTs a lot easier. Like I'm not quite sure how the integration would work, especially because these are on different platforms, but the point is that this is what's necessary for mass user adoption. And the more people that are seeing it means the more people that will eventually make their way over into DeFi. And as this is happening, trust and believe, Forex will be looking at other ways to develop platforms and get more user adoption as well. So we are at the beginning. That's really the whole point of all this. Seeing what Meta is doing in regards to Facebook and Instagram and how early we are in the DeFi space and how early anyone is that's familiar with crypto and seeing how the big businesses are now jumping behind and trying to increase market adoption and visibility just lets you know how big this can get and how quickly it's going to snowball out of control so if you're not in it now then you're going to get left behind when this gets massively adopted and you know the barrier to entry or the price to get in, into it is substantially higher because supply and demand right so um just some food for thought i thought that was pretty cool to see um Facebook, I'm not a big fan of Facebook or Instagram, but got to operate with them because that's what a lot of people utilize. But to see how they've been taking, um, moving forward with this, and who knows that they will do something like Ready Player One and create the Oasis. <laughs> but uh, the point is that they are ushering in the digital age and getting people to understand and putting this technology in a way that is easy to grasp. Because I mean, if you try to explain DeFi and crypto to other people, uh, that are not in it it's just way too much to digest but if you just say hey this picture that's on your profile we can prove that you own it and anybody that has a copy we can prove they don't right <laughs> that's a start and that's what nfts will do so hope you guys are as bullish as i am who knows what the future holds for the ecosystem but if you're in it for the long haul and you can see these big macro plays that i try to show you guys then you can just ignore the day-to-day -day volatility and hold it hold on for dear life <laughs> and make the best educational decision for you based off of the knowledge and where the space is going as a whole. That's it for this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, get us to 2,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. Don't forget, participate in the No Sell August Challenge and uh, the scavenger hunt coming up next month. So lift daily and achieve your impossible. See you guys.